So the Walt Disney Company finally decided to drop the full-length trailer of Snow White 2025, the live-action remake by, of course, Mark Webb, the director and writer Greta Gerwig. And we already know that Rachel Zegler has been creating a disaster for the press tour and only creating further issues down the road. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you are new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. Now this just comes days at, well after the fact that the Walt Disney Company was trying to hide the trailer for as long as they could because they actually only showed this first off to a handful of attendees and they did not want to debut this uh, back a couple of days ago when the backlash was at its highest level. And now when they drop the trailer, there's backlash already gaining even beyond the first teaser trailer to the point where it is now going to show you exactly where Snow White is heading for March of 2025. And Rachel Zegler, by the way, is not helping at all one bit. Let's get into this, shall we? Now we already know that Rachel Zegler is creating a lot of problems for the press tour of Snow White. Uh, first things first, she was already, you know, removed from various presentations. She was supposed to have a performance, or in fact, multiple performances, that were going to be pretty much a way to promote the film in either Times Square, or at the Oscars, or at the world premiere of Snow White, all of which, by the way, have been cancelled. She was supposed to sing and play guitar, dressed up as Snow White on stage, on live television, all of those presentations are now no more, all because of the social media backlash after she gave out her political opinion, which, by the way, those comments were horrific. Now, what's interesting here has a lot more to do with her overall view on that. Now, with the entire Hollywood bubble and the media now in a phase of panic and falling into desperate moves to save their image, one monumental development going on now involves more to do with Rachel Zegler, who is still set to portray the controversial iteration of Snow White yet again, where Rachel recently damaged the press tour by delivering the following to the general public. As an actress and activist, and getting the opportunity to play such a valued character in history, History, what I find to be deeply offensive are all the families and those that have followed the animated films, putting their line in the sand and saying no to diversity, equity, and inclusion. I think those families are just uninformed about how actual society functions and works, and a deliberate way of putting their head in the sand over hearing about real world issues, because this film has a purpose and holds a value and presents a message that will inspire us all to take a stand of what's going on in the world right now. This is not your typical Snow White film. We thought it was an absolute necessity, and I thank both Greta and Mark for this one, and that is how we had to change the meaning of Snow White's name. Snow White shouldn't be named Snow White because of the color of her skin, but it should reflect a core value of the character, and that's what we did by applying that into the story of her surviving a blizzard as a child, and how her parents provided that name to her. We needed to adapt from both the Brothers Grimm tales and what Disney did back in 1937, and I think it's a perfect fit for the modern female in both 2024 and what we actually expect to present itself in 2025. I am not sorry at all, in any way, shape, or form, and nor will I ever apologize for standing and defending that part of the story. This is a free country, and we have the freedom to tell tales the way that we want, and I expect all those critics that are uninformed about our upcoming Snow White feature to line up and watch my portrayal of this valued character in pop culture. I think actresses like myself who engage in activism really get a bad rep for all the wrong reasons. And once you see the film, you will know exactly what I'm talking about on how, why there are going to be so many critics about Snow White's cause in this film, and how we really wanted to make her into the best warrior out of all Disney princesses. So guys, before I move on about what Rachel Zegler is spewing, and how she's spewing nonsense yet again, quite frankly, this is another desperate move by Rachel Zegler trying to save her acting career and no more. We know that Y2K is DOA. That's her other film, by the way, that's coming out. That's not going to perform well. We already know that Snow White is another DOA film for several reasons. The boycott is stronger than ever. The backlash is growing, especially after that full-length trailer officially dropped today by the Walt Disney Company. 
and the press tour disaster continues to worsen, and Rachel Zegler is only adding fuel to the fire. All right. Now, Mark Webb and Greta Gerwig, you guys may not know them, but Mark Webb is known for creating the amazing Spider-Man films with Andrew Garfield, and Greta Gerwig is known for creating the Barbie film. So having that combination, all right, I think is a very bad move on Disney's part because it's going to put themselves in a position where they're not going to probably get big roles after this, all right, as a director or as a writer. And so when you look at Rachel Zegler in isolation, what she's trying to do here is cast in the blame game. She's trying to play the victim card. She's trying to say that the boycott is coming out of pure sexism and misogyny. That's basically what it's all about. And they're constantly going on this trope that Snow White had to evolve, that you couldn't call her Snow White because of how it was traditionally told in the Brothers Grimm and in the 1937 tale. Now it has to be done in a way that she's called Snow White because she survived a snowstorm, a blizzard. Yes, that's an official thing that was said by, of course, Rachel Zegler. Now again, moving on. She goes on to conclude on top of everything here. I genuinely believe that I was the only one that could obtain and properly evolve this role the way that it need, needed to be done. And to anyone boycotting this film, I firmly believe is dealing with a false narrative getting thrown at them from the other side of this country that remains misinformed about how important values really are. And that's what this film is all about. Protecting your values. So again, I mean, this movie sounds like it has, yet again, another agenda attached to it behind the cloak of Disney. We all know that Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, continues to lie, you know, whenever he says, oh, we never engage in a culture war, we never engage in any kind of activism or any kind of uh, an agenda out there. It's all nonsense. It's nothing more than a way to string along the customers, the shareholders, especially the shareholders, by the way, you know, if they just outright said, yeah, this is an agenda-driven film, we're all about diminishing the source material, they would lose shareholders left and right. They're all about tricking the shareholders into believing that this movie is going to be a success. We all know it's not. I mean, let's face the facts here. Seven test screenings failed one after the other. Reshoots are going to actually begin by the later portion of this month for the third act of the film. And they're not said to be, you know, major reshoots. They're going to be like, you know, moderate reshoots. Not minor, but moderate to actually fix the ending of the film. We'll talk more about that in the coming weeks. But interestingly enough, yet again, Rachel Zegler making the press tour even worse than it should be. But let's face the facts here, it wasn't going to be good to begin with because now you have the official trailer out there by the Walt Disney Company and it's already gaining a lot of backlash, even outperforming the Snow White teaser trailer from some time ago. Expect more dislikes to likes compared to the teaser trailer when looking at this trailer in just a short number of days. All right, I think that's going to be a most definite thing. Overall, I would like to hear what everyone has to say about Rachel Zegler and her view of the character, her view of the fan backlash, the boycott from the actual dedicated Disney fans that want nothing to do with this anymore. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys later. And